So I've heard many concerns about the vaccine. Um, I've heard concerns from patients uh, as well as my own family. Um, and in fact, um, some of my family members have posed uh, the most difficult questions about, about the vaccine. One major concern that I hear often is that the vaccine was rushed. That implies that steps were skipped or that things were done in a way that would be unsafe. And that's absolutely not the case. It is a miracle how quickly the vaccine was produced, but there are very specific reasons for why that happened under these circumstances, as opposed to what normally happens, which is the vaccine takes 10 years or something like that to develop. Important reasons for why it happened more quickly this time. Number one, there's a ton of money that was put into vaccine development. A lot of that investment actually came from, from the government. Uh, and that kind of capital really sped things up. Another uh, reason why the vaccine uh, came more quickly this time is because of the way that the phases were done. So ordinarily, you'll have a phase one aspect to the vaccine development, phase two, phase three, they'll all be separate and each of them will take time, a year, two years. What was done in this case is that the phases were overlapped. So you would start phase one, and the purpose of phase one is to determine safety. How do people react when they get the vaccine? And once you're part way through that phase and you find that people are safely uh, getting the vaccine, not having any major adverse events, you can then start the second phase, which kind of looks at how the, how the immune system responds to the vaccine. And as you're doing that, if that's going well, then you can start your phase three, which is looking at how effective the vaccine is in terms of preventing disease or symptoms. Getting the vaccine uh, can help you sidestep those deadly consequences of getting the virus. So I would strongly recommend getting uh, the vaccine, not only going to reduce death, but also transmission and potentially infection of you know, loved ones and people who are vulnerable in the community at large. And maybe if we can get enough people to get the vaccine, we can start getting back to a more normal social interaction, which has been critically affected in all spheres of life. What we know is that the vaccine tends to cause a more robust antibody response than the infection itself in a lot of people. So it may very well be that if you get the vaccine, uh, you may have a more robust and perhaps a longer lasting response than you would if you got the virus itself. I'm not 100% sure about that yet. We're still studying that. Since we've seen antibody levels decline in, in people who've had the, the actual virus who've contracted the viral infection, and we've compared that to the amount of antibody produced by people who've gotten the vaccine, it seems reasonable um, that people who had the virus could have a boosted type of response, immune response, which may enable them to have longer or better protection going forward.